uh, I built my uh, live bait tank for my uh, uh, for my boat. Okay, so it's very simple, very easy. Everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to show you the uh, DIY uh, how to uh, build your own uh, bait tank for your live bait. Okay, it's very simple. So today I'm going to show you uh, how to build a 10 gallons uh, cooler. Okay, this is 10 gallons, and uh, you can do the uh, five gallon if you want to. Uh, what you need is a, a 10 gallon cooler. Uh, I have the pump right here. Um, you can have a smaller one if you want to. This is something I have already. Um, you need to have the bulk head, okay? The bulk head. Uh, they have a they have a different kind, okay? Uh, if you type into the internet, uh, bulk head, uh, and you can buy. This is a half inch. Uh, you can do half inch, and for the for the intake down here, okay? And you will use. Uh, you buy a bigger one. Uh, maybe uh, one and a half inch uh, for the outlet for the water going out. Okay, uh, but today I'm going to show you something. If you don't have the bulk head, uh, um, you can improvise. Okay, so today I'm not going to use this because this is simple, easy. I'm going to show you what you can buy at Home Depot or Low or any uh, hardware store. Uh, uh, something that you can improvise. So today I'm going to show you this one. This is a sinkhole cover uh, you can buy it for um, two dollars three dollars okay uh, for the for the inlet uh, for the, uh, the intake okay and I'm gonna show you you can use this you can use the attention tool uh, for your you see this one under your sink okay um, you can use this for the for the, the outlet for the water going out okay symbol two two three dollars and you can uh, you can do it. First of all, uh, you're going to uh, re re uh, remove this, okay? It's very, very simple. You hold on the inside and then you twist it. Okay? And then you can remove uh, this valve right here. Okay? Simple. And you can use this one as the uh, uh, the intake valve for your, your bait tank, right? Like this. Okay? But I'm not going to use it today because some of you might not have it. You can run to a, a store and buy the cheap uh, the sinkhole cover. Okay? Right here. And this is a half inch. Okay? This is a half inch. So this hole right here is a half inch. So it's perfect. So in here, they have a washer right here. Okay, so this washer is not a very good washer. You can use this one, okay? What I did is I used a rubber right here. The rubber, uh, you can use a, a bicycle too. Uh, and then I cut out the, um, the washer right here. So I'm gonna double it. I'm gonna put it in here. And then, I'm gonna go it through. And then I'm gonna do two washer right here. Okay. And then I'm going to screw this, the cap, in here. Okay, see? It's very simple. This is the inlet. This is the water going in here. Okay? Um, and one thing you need is the valve. Okay? The reason you have the valve is because when you turn off your, uh, your pump, the water might go out again. Okay? It might drain your, uh, your bait tank. That's why you have to have a valve. This one is a half inch uh, a female. Okay? And you can twist it in here. Okay? So when you stop your pump, you can 
set up the water so the water don't come out from your tank, okay? And then from here, you attach it to the um, uh, the pump, okay? Uh, you can do a different kind of fitting, whatever that, that works for your pump, okay? Um, okay right there and then you can go ahead and pump the water in okay now i'm going to help, i'm going to show you how to do that uh, the outlet for the water going out so the water is always circulate right you keep your you keep your, your the oxygen in the, the tank so your life bay will be uh, alive okay so i'm going to show you how to fill this one very simple uh what you need is just a uh, the drill. This is a half, half, half inch drill. Uh, you can drill anywhere. You can drill up here. You can drill down here. So for me, I want to drill a little bit down here. Because I don't want the water go too much up here. Just right down here, about two inches uh, uh, down. Okay, so let me drill the hole right here. The reason I do half inch, because my, um, uh, this, this uh, tube right here is a half inch. Okay, right here, share half inch. Uh, I'm sorry, one and a half inch. So I'm going to drill the hole right here. So it's very, very really tight, okay? Very, it fits pretty good. See? Really tight. Um, right here. Okay? So, uh, what you need to do, you can put the silicon here. Okay? Right here. You can put the silicon around, right? The fit in right here. And then, you put a silicon around here. Okay? So it will, it will not uh, leak. Okay, let me show you one more thing. See right here, if you don't do something right here, some, some kind of a, a, a mesh, um, when the water going out, the fish will go out. Okay, so what I, what I do is, I cut the plastic mesh, just a little piece right here. I'm gonna put it right in here. Okay, and I'm going to screw it back in. So, the entropy cannot go through, okay? So, let me put it right here again. Okay? And then, you're done with the, um, the, the bait tank, okay? The live bait tank. It takes you about uh, 10 minutes, okay? To get it done. Let's test it, okay? Um, let me... Okay, let me test it. In in order for the uh, the pump work, I need to put some water in here so the water going out right here. It's a kick uh, start the the pump. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So let me put some water in here. Okay. Uh, it should be go this way. Put it upside down. Okay. Now I'm going to turn on the uh, the pump. Okay. And you see right here. You see how the water stir up. You see it. And eventually it will it will go out. Okay. Uh, I have one like this for my boat for ten years already. It worked for me for ten years, and it's still doing good. Okay, it takes about maybe uh, a couple of minutes for the water to uh, fill up the, the tank right here and it will come out right here. Okay, see it? 
Now the water is coming out. Okay, that's how you do the uh, light bait tank uh, using the uh, 10 gallons uh, uh, cooler. Uh, you can do a five gallon over here, um, but you keep uh, about maybe 40 to 50 anchovy only. But this one over here, you can keep about uh, 100, over 100 anchovies. Okay, so I'm going to turn off this. Okay. Now let me show you. If you don't have this valve, when you turn up your, uh, you turn up your, um, your 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 pump, right? The water. If you don't have the valve right here, the water will go through here and it it drain it drain your, uh, 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 your water in the tank. That's why you need to have the valve right here. Okay. When you turn up the uh, the pump, all you have to do. Just turn off the valve. Okay? If you don't want the valve, this is what you need. This is what they call the check valve. The check valve is the water only go this way. Okay? It's go one way. It go this way, it go to your tank. And if you turn off the valve right here, I mean the pump right here, the check valve will, will uh, prevent the water going back. The water is only go uh, one way over here. Okay? Okay, so that's how I. Um, uh, I built my uh, light bait tank for my uh, uh, for my boat. Okay, so it's very simple, very easy. If you have any questions, uh, just uh, put it in the comment, and I will uh, I will answer uh, your question. Uh, thank you so much for uh, watching the video. If you like the video, can you please share the video, like the video, and subscribe to my channel? Uh, so it gives me the motivation to do more video for you. Um, thank you so much for watching my video. Uh, please stay safe and I will see you in the next video. Thank you and bye bye.